So you want to main Lulu, the Fae Sorceress. Well, you've come to the right place. G'day champions, in this video we'll be going through Wild Rift's Lulu in depth. We'll be going through Lulu's abilities and leveling order, spells, combos, builds, runes, counters, and general combat tips. And if you have any of your own Lulu tips, please share them in the comments down below. First, I want you to ask yourself, why do you want to main Lulu? Lulu's pros, she can provide huge buffs to her allies and huge debuffs to the enemies. She has great perk and harass, she has strong team fight, and she has great utility. Lulu's cons, she's very situational, making her not very beginner friendly. She has low mobility and she has no lane sustain. Lulu has multiple roles, she is a support and a mage that deals magical damage. Wildwood considers her to be of average difficulty and I agree, I do find her average. This is a dragon lane support and middle lane guide for Lulu. My name is Teeds, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for everything Wild Rift. Let's get into Lulu's abilities. Lulu's passive, Pix Fairy Companion. Pix is Lulu's companion. Pix fires a barrage of three bolts that deal magical damage at whatever Lulu attacks. These bolts can be blocked by other units. Pix can also attach herself to other champions, both enemies and allies. Pix will attach herself to champions when Lulu casts certain abilities. This will reveal them if they are an enemy, and on allies it will aid their attacks. Lulu's first ability, Glitter Lance. Lulu's one is a line ability type. Lulu and Pix each fire a piercing bolt that deals magical damage. The first enemy hit will receive more damage. Enemies hit are also slowed by 80% to cane over 2 seconds. This ability has a 7 second cooldown. This is her main damage. Lulu's second ability, Whimsy. Lulu's 2 is a circle ability type that applies buffs and debuffs. Pix creates a fairy ring attaching to the first champion that enters for 5 seconds. This will cast an additional effect on them. On allies, it grants 30% movement speed and 25% attack speed for 3.5 seconds. This will only apply to one ally at a time. On enemies, polymorphs the enemy for 1.25 seconds. This will disable them from attacking or casting abilities. This will also reduce their movement speed to 60. This is her main crowd control ability. This ability has a 16 second cooldown. If this ability is casted on both an ally and an enemy, it will prioritize polymorphing the enemy. Lulu's third ability, Help Picks. This ability is a shield slash damage type. Attaches picks to target enemy or ally champion for 5 seconds. On allies, it grants a shield that absorbs damage for 5 seconds. On enemies, it deals damage. This ability has a 10 second cooldown. Lulu's ultimate, Wild Growth. This ability enlarges an ally champion, knocking nearby enemies into the air for 0.75 seconds. For the next 7 seconds, the ally champion gains bonus health, also slowing nearby enemies by 30%. Lulu can cast this on herself by tapping it. This ultimate has a cooldown of 70 seconds. Next, the leveling order. For the first 5 levels as a support, 3, 2, 1, 3, 4. Then you want to prioritize maxing out your ultimate for increased bonus health and reduced cooldowns, your third ability for increased shield absorption and damage, your second ability for increased polymorph on enemies and attack speed for allies and reduced cooldown, and your first ability for increased damage. So basically, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you're playing in the middle lane for the first 5 levels, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, and then you want to prioritize 4, 1, 3, Two. For spells, flash for mobility, heal as a support, or ignite for middle lane. Next, Lulu's combos. So with Lulu, there really aren't any combos as she is very situational. For middle lane, it's less situational, but as a support, it very much depends. Let's go through what situations you could use each ability in. For her first ability, it's a damaging ability that also applies a slow. This is great to use against enemies who are trying to escape. Generally though, this is great to use to damage enemies as well. Casting other abilities on allies will have picks on them, so another great way to use this ability when chasing is to apply an ability on those who are further away from you who are closer to your intended target. This way you can get the first ability damage off and the slow, just as shown here. For her second ability, you can put this ability on the ground and it will stay there for a few seconds. An ally can walk onto it to gain the buff. 
This can also be used as a way to zone off areas as enemies will avoid stepping into the circle. You can apply this to your ally or yourself when finding other champions. You can also apply this on an ally who is trying to escape or chase. Enemies who walk into this or if you're placed on top of them will be polymorphed. This is great to use against especially melee champions who are on top of your carries. Also a great way to prevent strong damage from enemies and escape slash dashes. Just like the first ability, you can also apply this on the ground and then use your first ability to gain reach. So basically you just gotta place your second ability on the ground and then use your first ability in case you can't reach your intended target. For her third ability, great to apply to allies who are jumping into a fight or are taking too much damage. Also a great ability to poke enemies with and if your allies do not need any aid. For her ultimate, great ability to use in team fights, can be used to get enemies off your squishies and used to save your carries when they're low on health. Great to use on your frontliners, melee and tank. This ability is incredibly strong on tanks, it can make them even more unkillable and they can tank more shots so your carries take less. And last of all, remember to use your auto attacks as Lulu, picks makes them incredibly powerful. A combo that you can use for damage is 3 on enemy, auto attack and 1. If you have anything else to add, please let everyone know in the comments down below. Next, Lulu's builds. Builds are situational and it depends on the game you're in. Builds can also change depending on the current meta. My builds are based on what players are currently building in high level ranked. I recommend reading the bonuses of these items in your item builder to have a full understanding. For support, Arden sends stuff for health, ability power and ability haste. This item works great with her shield, granting you and your ally attack speed and increased damage. Harmonic Echo for ability power, max mana and ability haste. This item also works extremely well with your shield. Ionian Boots into Ionian Locket. Athene's Unholy Grail for ability power, magical resistance and ability haste. This will basically grant your shielded allies a heal. Ziki's Convergence for armor, magical resistance, max mana and ability haste. This will basically grant a buff to your ally when you're ulting. Protector's Vow for max health, armor and ability haste, granting another shield. For middle lane Lulu, Lich Bane for power, max mana and haste. This will cause your next ability to deal bonus damage. Luden's Echo for power, mana, and haste. Ionian Boots into Ionian Stasis, granting you survivability. Landry's Torment for health and ability power. Rabadon's Death Cap for ability power. And Void Staff for magical penetration. You can also swap out Leandri's Torment for Marilla Nomicon for anti-heal. And you can also pick up Guardian's Angel if you'd like more survivability. Next, Lulu's Runes. For Lulu's main rune as a support, Airy for poke and protect. For her secondary runes, Weakness for control and bonus damage, then Loyalty for shared bonus armor and magical resistance, then Pack Hunter for mobility and team gold, and for Lulu's main runes as a mid laner, Airy again, and then for her secondary runes, Brutal for damage and pen, Spirit Walker for health and slow resist, then Hunter Genius for cooldown reduction or Sweet Tree for honey fruit and gold. Next, Lulu's counters. Direct 1v1 fights. Lulu struggles in that regard as a lot of her abilities are buffs. She relies on her teammates a lot. She has no really good escape, enemies who focus you. Lulu is really squishy. She doesn't work well with every marksman slash dragon laner which can make it a bit more difficult depending on who your partner is and she relies on one of her teammates being a frontliner. And lastly, general and combat tips. Lulu has pretty good poke. Try to poke enemies when they're trying to clear lane. You can shield yourself while poking so you do not take any minion damage. If your ally decides to poke around minions, you can shield them too so they do not take any minion damage. Try to use your ult on frontliners in team fights. However, if you do need to save an ally with it, don't hesitate. Lulu is incredibly versatile and really is based on decision making and situations. If you have any of your own tips or would like to add anything, please leave them in the comments down below. That is all for the Lulu guide. Please let me know in the comments which champion you would like to main next. Subscribe and click the bell for more champion guides. I'm planning to release one every day or one every two days and I'll also have the ones linked down below that you can check out if you would like to see any other champions. Like the video if you found this helpful. I hope to see you again for the next one. Bye!